This video will talk about self-archiving open educational resources that you use and create. When we talk about open educational resources, we say that open means not only free of cost, but also free to do certain things. One of the things you are free to do with OERs is retain them, which means keep a copy. You not only have the right to keep your own copy, it's also a good idea. Librarians are interested in maintaining long-term access to information, and the best way we've found to ensure long-term access is a principle we call LOTS. Lots of copies keep stuff safe. If you keep a copy, and there's an original copy, and everybody else who uses it keeps a copy, that means that a devastating server failure won't mean the content is lost. In the long term, it's not just disasters that threaten our access to information. Organizations that maintain websites and repositories move on to other things or shut down. Having multiple copies in multiple places is a long-term strategy for a world that changes. Also in the short term, there are self-serving advantages to keeping your own copy. You can make sure that the downloading and streaming speeds are up to your standards, and you can also make any changes you want. If you are using an open educational resource in your online course, it's fine to keep it there in the course, but you should also keep your copy somewhere else. Learning management systems are specifically designed to limit access to certain people, and you should keep a copy where anyone can access it. Also, learning management systems don't have a good way to find things, and you should keep a copy in a setup that has good search function or will be found by web search engines. One option for keeping your copy is in a repository. A repository is more than just a storage space and a search tool. It is an online tool, but also a curated service. Repositories allow storage of content and access to that content with powerful search features. But in addition to that, they enable version control, metadata, and things like caption files, alternative versions, ratings, reviews, and more. As I said, repositories are almost always curated, and they often have peer reviewers for the content, too. So if you can find an appropriate repository for your open educational resource, that is an ideal place to house it. Here are three kinds of places to self-archive the open educational resources you use, and also those you create. Consider using all three. First is your personal professional website, or a page on the college's site. Any stable website is fine, and you can have this be the URL that the Creative Commons License widget points to. Second, you can keep a copy of your OER on a content hosting website, like YouTube for videos, academia.edu for papers, and so forth. And third, you can and should submit your OER to any appropriate repositories and repository-like websites, such as Merlot. Doing all three strikes a good balance between control on your own website, access to a very broad audience on a content hosting site, and findability by people who are specifically searching for OERs in repositories.